Hello students hope you all are doing good Today in this video we will learn about 10 compliments double digit sum So without wasting much time let's quickly start with the video Make 27 20 on the tens rod 7 on the ones rod Now do plus 13 10 on the tens rod plus 3 on the ones rod We cannot do We can't even use plus five complement as five is already in use. So quickly tell me who is the friend of three? Yes, seven. So minus seven plus ten. Very good. Now do minus ten. We have the bead. We can do directly minus ten. Now do plus twenty eight. Can we do that? No. On tens rod, I'm not having the bead. But on the ones rod, I'm having the bead of eight, so we can do on ones, but not on tens. So quickly check, can we use plus five complement? Yes, we can use that. So plus five minus three, and plus eight directly on ones rod. So what is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's fifty eight. Very good. Clear the beads. Let's do one more question. Make twenty one, twenty on the tens rod, one on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus nineteen. So plus ten on the tens rod, but we cannot do plus nine on the ones rod. So who is the friend of nine? One. Which complement you will use? Plus ten. So minus one plus ten. Very good. Now do minus thirty. We have the beads. We can do directly minus thirty. Now do minus ten again. We have the beads. We can do directly so minus ten. Now can you see no bead is touching the value bar? So what is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's zero. Amazing. Let's do one more question as we are not having the beads, so no need to clear the beads. Good. Let's make sixty on your two. So sixty on tens rod. Now do plus eighteen. We have the bead. We can do directly plus ten on the tens rod, plus eight on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus twelve, plus ten on the tens rod. But we don't have the bead on ones rod to do plus two. Can we use plus five complement? No, five is already in use. So who is the friend of two in tens complement? Eight. So minus eight plus ten. Very good. Now do minus seventy eight. So minus seventy. We have the beads. We can do directly minus seventy pinch out position. But we cannot do minus ten, and we can't even use minus five complement. So minus ten plus two. So what is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's twelve. You are doing a good job. Clear the beads. Let's do one more question. Make eighty seven, eighty on the tens rod, seven on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus eleven. We have the beads. We can do directly plus ten on tens rod, plus one on the ones rod. Now do minus seventy two. Again, we are having the beads. We can do directly minus seventy on the tens rod, minus two on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus fifteen, plus ten on the tens rod. But wait. I cannot do plus five on the one sort. So which complement you will use? Plus ten, minus five, plus ten. Very good. Now do minus forty one. We have the base. We can do directly minus forty on the ten sort, minus one on the one sort. So what is the final answer you are having? Zero. Very good. Let's do one more. Make sixty five. Sixty on the tens rod, five on the ones rod. Very good. Now do forty-five. Can we do? No, on tens rod I'm not having the bead. On ones rod also I'm not having the bead. So who is the friend of six? Four. So minus six on the tens rod, plus ten on the hundred rod. Very good. Now for five, minus five on the ones rod. Plus ten on the tens rod. So now you are having 
hundred and ten. Now do plus thirty two. So plus thirty on the tens rod, plus two on the ones rod. As you know that thirty two. So it means tens and ones. Very good. Now do plus twenty. Can we do? No. Can we use five complement over here? Yes, on tens rod I can easily use five complement. But which five complement you are supposed to use? Plus five. Very good. So plus five minus three. So what is the final answer you are having? One hundred sixty-two. Very good. Let's clear the beads and do one more question. Good. Let's make sixty-four. So make six plus four on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus sixteen, plus ten, and plus six on the ones we cannot do. So who is the friend of six? Four minus four plus ten. Very good. Now do plus fifteen. We have the bead. We can do directly plus ten plus five. Amazing. Now do minus fifty four. We have the bead on tens rod, so minus fifty. But on the ones rod, I'm not having the bead, so I cannot do minus four directly. But can I use minus five complement? Yes, I can use that. So plus one minus five. Very good. Now do minus forty. I have the beads. I can do directly minus forty. So what is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's one. Good job, guys. Clear the beads. Let's do one more. Make seventy-seven. Very good. Do plus thirteen. So plus ten on the tens rod. Plus three on the ones rod. But we cannot do. We can't even use plus five complement. So which complement you are supposed to use? Yes, it's plus ten. And who is the friend of three? Yes, it's seven. So minus seven plus ten. Very good. Now do minus fifty eight. So minus fifty on the tens rod, but we cannot do minus eight on the ones, as we are not having the bead. So which complement you are supposed to use? Minus ten. Very good. And who is the friend of eight? Two. So minus ten plus two. Very good. Now do plus fifty two. We have the beads. We can do directly. Plus fifty and plus two on the ones rod. Very good. Now do minus ten. So minus ten directly. Amazing. What is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's seventy four. Very good job. So clear the beat. Let's do one more question. Make twenty two on your two. Two on the tens rod and two on the ones rod becomes twenty two. Very good. Now do Plus eighteen, plus ten on the tens rod, plus eight on the ones rod. But we are not having the beads. So which complement you are supposed to use? Yes, we will use plus ten complement. And who is the friend of eight? Two. So minus two plus ten. Very good. Now do plus fifty five. As we are having the beads, we can do directly. Plus fifty on the tens rod and plus five on the ones rod. Now do minus seventy five. Again, we are having the beads. We can do directly minus seventy on the tens rod, minus five on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus fifteen, plus ten on the tens rod, plus five on the ones rod. So whenever we are having the beads directly, you will do. Directly, you will not use any complement at that moment of time. So let's do one more question. Clear the bead first. Make twenty-six on your tool, twenty on the tens rod, six on the ones rod. Very good. Now do plus fifty-four, plus fifty on the tens rod, but we cannot do plus four on the ones rod. Can we use plus five complement? No, five is already in use. So which complement you will use? Plus ten, very good. Who is the friend of four? Six. So minus six plus ten, very good. Now do minus thirty. We have the beads. We can do directly 
So minus 30. Now do plus 31. Again we are having the beats. We can do directly plus 30 on the tens rod plus 1 on the ones rod. Very good. Now do minus 42. Can you do that? No, we cannot do that. Can you use minus 5 complement here? Yes, you can use that. Very good. And who is the friend of 4 in 5 complement? Yes, it's 1. So, plus 1 minus 5. Now do minus 2 on the 1's rod. Again, we cannot do that. We can't even use minus 5 complement. So, who is the friend of 2 in 10 complement? 8. And which complement you will use? Plus 10 or minus 10? Minus 10. So, minus 10 plus 8. So, what is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's 39. Very good. Let's do the last question for today. Clear the beat first. Make 57. So, 50 on the tens rod, 7 on the ones rod. Very good. Now, do plus 24. So, plus 20 on the tens rod. But we cannot do plus 4 on the ones rod as we are not having the beads. So, which complement you will use? Can you use plus 5 complement? No, we cannot use that. Okay. So, which complement you will use? Plus 10? Yes, we will use plus 10 complement. Who is the friend of 4 in plus 10 complement? 6. So, minus 6 plus 10. Very good. Now do minus 71. We are having the beat so we can do directly. So minus 70 and minus 1. Very good. Now do plus 83. So we have the beats we can do directly. Plus 80 on the tens rod. Plus 3 on the ones rod. Very good. Now do minus 25. Minus 20 on the tens rod. Good. But we cannot do minus 5 on the ones rod. Right? So minus 10 plus 5. Very good. So what is the final answer you are having? Yes, it's 68. Very good. Good job. I hope now 10 complement double digit sums are clear to you. So keep practicing. But still after watching the video, you are having any of the doubt? You can connect with me on WhatsApp. Thanks for watching.